Hi everybody, welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Outer Space 2 from AudioThing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and have an opportunity to own a copy of Outer Space 2, please do check the instruction contained in the video description and make sure that the giveaway is still open and if it is not and you participated ensure that you follow the instruction to check if you won and if so to claim your code thank you again so outer space 2 it's a faithful emulation of a vintage tape echo when famous one in the early 70s it's um, not um, an effect like, uh, for example, magic delay or quantum delay. It's a emulation. And indeed, they spent quite a lot of time and effort in ensuring that uh, it is a faithful emulation. It reproduces free uh, frequency responses and saturation with all the different, uh, different um, um, little, uh, I would say, behavior of that uh, tape echo. And you have the three different ways uh, down here in the interface that you can choose in terms of emulation. You have three uh, playback uh, heads, which you can see here, one, two, and three. And of course, uh, spring, two spring reverb tanks. Now, before um, we delve into introduce you to the interface, we are inside the AUM. I have a number of audio source like uh, Piano Tech, Wave Cloud, I have Hammerhead here. So we're going to listen to some presets and how Outer Space 2 sounds with different uh, presets. So I have connected a, a keyboard here to Piano Tech and I have chosen a classical guitar warm. <laughs> Sounds really nice. So let's activate um, uh, Outer Space 2 and let's listen to some of the presets. You should start to hear straight away some noise because you have noise emulation here. You have the noise level, the tone, and also you have envelope as well for the noise. You have the choice of presets with categories, including including a factory and a user bank as well. So let's try a different preset. So you can start to hear now more that uh, echo. This is a nice one, metallic. So you have an idea now of the type of effects that you can create. But now let's uh, mute Piano Tech and unmute uh, Wave Cloud. And um, let's ensure that we listen to uh, what Wave Cloud is producing. So we have this type of preset. It's already rich as a preset, but let's listen with the effect on.
Interesting, of course, different than using a normal piano or a guitar. Wave Cloud is already rich, being a granular synth. So now let's listen to uh, the way it sounds when we have Hammerhead uh, um, on. And let's uh, bypass it first so that uh, we ensure we know uh, what Hammerhead is playing. <laughs> Okay, so you have an idea now of the way that uh, a tape uh, echo as an effect sound of how the space to sound. So now let's uh, uh, mute again Hammerhead and let's go back to uh, that guitar and let's go through a little bit of the interface. So we have it active, of course, we have usual parameter in terms of locking parameters. You have your global settings here your lock and unlock parameter settings here as well, your preset, copy and paste, your access to online menu and about. Yeah, you can randomize parameters, delete, save, and then here you have the access to the category with the preset. Pretty straightforward. And I recommend that you create a um, init preset. So when you first load it, it is in init mode. So just save that and then it will go into your e user. Um, bank. Now, as you can see, the interface is quite simple. Here you have your peak level with a meter. It's really nice that you have the audio thing logo here. You have an input dial. So you can see it is picking. The picking, of course, works for the input. Double click to go back to the default setting. You can adjust the output as well in this. Now here is quite interesting. You have a mode selector and you can have echo only here. You can have also reverb only here. And then here you have different combination in terms of play head, playback head um, for reverb and echo. And as you move, you can see the one which are active, which you can further adjust from a, a in terms of a, that echo effect and timing. Right, so it's quite interesting. So you can play around having them all on or off. Then you can further adjust here. You can adjust the uh, bass and treble as well. You can adjust the decay for the reverb and um, you can have it short or long. You can adjust the volume. Short. So it cuts uh, the decay shorter. It's quite interesting here. Yeah, you have to click to move it between one to the other in terms of control. You can adjust also the type from dark to bright. So you can hear straight away that is dark. Let's make the decay longer. So hopefully if you have headphones, you can hear that better. Here you have a repeat rate. Which can, can be further adjusted here. You have a rate ballistic, which will determine how quickly the repeat rate will get to the desired value. And you can also have a variable speed adjustment here in terms of millisecond plus or minus 50 milliseconds. Here you 
can adjust the intensity of, of the feedback. Here you have uh, wow and flutter, so you can have those variation for pitch and volume. And then you can adjust the echo volume there as well, pretty straightforward. Here you can have send on and off, so if you want to, uh, for example, if you set it to off, it will continue to play the feedback. You can have wet only mode. Or not, of course, you can have noise. Adjust the tone. And of course you have the envelope also for the noise. Which activate the noise only when uh, you have a gate open, of course. Now, here you have the adjustment for the playback head. Here you have sync on and off here in terms of creating that uh, um, echo delay. And here you have preamp, which you can have it on and uh, off, of course. You, uh, you have uh, changes in terms of oversampling. You can have your soft clip on and off. HQ, be careful with this one because it's quite nice, but it's more intensive in terms of CPU. And then by default, EQ goes for the echo, but you can have it to also influence the reverb as well. Then you have different settings for stereo, mono, mono sum, adds up the two channels, stereo, add additional delay on the right channel, and then you can adjust the delay amount here. This one is quite nice because it simulates the touch. Um, uh, and drop and uh, volume, so pitch and volume drops as if you are touching the playback head. So you can hear that drop of volume. Okay, then we have different mode of emulation here. And then for each of the heads, you can adjust volume and pump. Then you have a low pass and high pass adjustment here, then drops as well and pre-emphasis as well adjustment for the uh, tape. So overall, it's uh, straightforward to use uh, um, effect. I really like the emitter uh, here display. It works really well. And uh, yes, uh, Give it a try. It's a um, quality product as always from Audifeng. Works really um, nicely and I'm sure you have a lot of fun with it. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.